Hey guys, good to see you again. Welcome back to the garage. Our project is converting this 1989 Saab turbo convertible from a boring old three-speed automatic into a five-speed. This is the donor car for the project. It's a 92 Saab non-turbo convertible. It wasn't running and I was able to pick it up for about $500. I'm sure I'll make that money back selling the parts that have already stripped off the car. So with the engine out and the bolt securing the transmission removed, the next step is separating the two units. Take the time to adjust and balance your hoist so the engine block lifts straight up off the transmission. It's really kind of surprising how easily mine came apart. Next step, grab your 13 millimeter socket and remove the oil pickup tube. It's longer than the one that's attached to the engine of your automatic, so it needs to come over to your car with the manual transmission. There are a lot of things about the design of the Saab 900 that make it different and unique, and I think this is one of them. In our cars, the engine is bolted directly on top of the transmission. The transmission case serves as your engine's oil pan. And here's what an engine looks like after 160,000 miles on the road. So again, this car is a 92, and uh, as you can see, it's coated with varnish inside, and down here in the bottom of this oil sump, um, I don't know, I'd call that sludge, but it's certainly kind of a, a thick goo. I guess after all, it's not all that bad. Now this transmission is going out for a professional clean before it uh, goes into my saw, but while it's here, let me show you a few things. You have to imagine that of course the engine is bolted on top and there is a flywheel right here. The flywheel acts on this clutch disc which is held in place by the pressure plate. So the rotation of the flywheel is transmitted through the clutch disc along a shaft which is then turning a chain which transmits the power back through the transmission eventually to the output shafts. One benefit of this unique configuration is that the half shafts that transmit power to the front wheels are equal length and that's why the Saab 900 has minimal torque steer. So yeah, time to get busy and uh, start pulling the engine out of this car. Lots to do while the engine is out. We'll change the alternator, the power steering pump, the uh, steering rack itself, suspension bushings, radiator, other things that really ought to be done while the engine's out of the car. So should be a lot of fun. Hope you'll keep watching. Thank you for all your suggestions. They're very helpful and I do appreciate it. We'll see you next time.